Hello everybody and welcome to another late night review. This time instead of Mario Master and myself, it is myself and... Uh, me, at Rosonic X2. Yes, for those of you who have been wondering how long it would take for us to get him on here, well now we have him on here. Um, you know, just trying to do the stuff. He, uh, he's still working on his show and everything, so we can't take him away from that all the time, because he does want, we, we do want to have that done. Anyways, now we are doing a game by, um, also by Blendo Games, Citizen Abel's Gravity Bone. Uh, this is made, uh, also, along with Adam Zombie Smasher, this is made by Brandon Chung, uh, who is, I'm pretty sure, the CEO and creator of Blendo Games, and the guy who made, he is the guy who made Adam Zombie Smasher. We have explicit permission from him to use his material. Well, Adam Zombie Smasher. This one we're kind of just going to ask later. Um, anyways, let's get started with this very weird and quirky game. Wait, so you haven't gotten permission for this one? Technically, we have permission to use his material, because he kind of just lets anyone use his material, but I like to have it written. Anyways, here yeah. we are, guys. Welcome to the Saturday Club. That's... that's a name. Yeah. Hello, waiter. Here's our mission. Hyper, read it. <laughs> the Saturday Club. Business uh, initiative. No, no, the first part. Oh, oh fine. Teletransition. Private, Private contracting. contract service. Yes. That guy mm -hmm. just walked through me. Yeah, how dare he. Go to the furnace room. Alright, let's go to the furnace room. As we take note of our surroundings and how everyone here seems to be wearing ban bandit masks. Well, obviously. Except for the waiters and the guards. And that one guy over there. Yeah. He's a guard, look, he'll always look at you. Every well, guard looks at you. Well, that's their job. It doesn't matter how far you get, all the guards continue to look at you. So to get to the furnace room, you simply gotta go through here, you know, casual-like. Through people. Yes. I also love how the, um... I love how the... Oh, by the way, yes, um... Safety fu um... First, <laughs> press space to jump. Apparently that's what sinks do. Um, also, I love how every character in this game just sounds like the adults from, uh, from, um, crap, what's the name of it? Snoopy and, and all them. Uh. The Peanuts, I think. There we go. Yeah. Anyways, now we get our mission. Yes, and this... Yeah, it's saying, deliver this drink to the red-haired man. Because there's yeah. only one man who has red hair ever. Well, actually, in this case... You know. I also love how doors open. Just go yeah, into was, the wall. I was, I was gonna mention that. Doors don't work like that. Yeah, the also the... The doorknob doesn't usually flip and move around, like, weirdly. Anyways, God damn it! Let me out. Hey, bandit, bandit, bandit. And look at that, that plane. Other, yeah, plane. I just noticed that the other uh, waiters don't press the button. No, Are no, you they standing don't. on people's heads? Yeah, because that's how physics work. I'm sure they don't mind. Of course they that's don't. One way, uh, that's one way to crowd surf. Yeah. I didn't even know I could do that. I just pulled that out my ass. Stop pulling stuff out of your ass. But it was awesome! In fact, I'm going to try to crowd surf over to the red-haired man. There's not enough up here. Maybe. Hold on. See? There's sparse up here. Oh, really? Working so far. But... They don't have any railing on the waterfall. Ah! Sup! That was a horrible layout. I can't believe that worked. Heh. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you for my drink. I'm so glad I could contract you. I don't think drinks should do that. No, no, they shouldn't. But, um... I do love this, um... OH! SHIT! Oh, God! Anyways, now that we didn't screw up... What are you guys talking about? How did that happen? See, I was just about to make a comment about how ridiculously dangerous the stairway is. But you gotta love how the simplistic um, graphics in this game really work for it. Like, they're not that bad. They're like so simple they're good. Am I right, Hyper? Sure. 
Though I don't know why we can't see our feet. We don't even know what we look like. Also, oh, look at all the shadows. On. That's normal for all, for like most first person things. Actually, a lot of them have... Anyways. Crowd surfing to the exit! I really want to go up there, but I don't know how to reach. Hmm. I wish I'd... Oh, I think... Really? Yeah, we're gonna risk it. Risky time! A game that is oh. really short is now being extended. You're all welcome. How is this a review anymore? I didn't say it was just a review. I said it was a review and stuff. No shit! What the hell? He's walk on it. Okay. Yeah, I'm walking on the edge. Ha uh ha! -huh. This was totally worth. Is this a secret? Nope. We can't even oh. go in. I should have put something cool up there. Yeah, I'll suggest it to Brandon. Brendan, however you pronounce his name. Anyways, and that completes mission one. Contract complete. Congratulations. How much do we get paid? Well, you'll learn that in a moment. Th this reminds me a lot of, like, Aperture. Track the individual across the galaxy. Clients are pleased. $3,400 tax free. Damn! For delivering a drink. Can then, I have this job? Well, of course. You're doing it right now, Hyper. Oh my god! And now we find ourselves once again in an elevator. Also, I do like this, this, you're about to see this in this, but look, it actually, they actually have the ability to like turn something into an exit zone. But if you look at this, um, they actually create weather and other things. Like, they weren't as cheap as to not try, they, they do try, they try to make this really nice game. They've got a holy, a whole like made up thing here where they've got all these different people. And I don't huh. think it's repeating at all. We're on the 70th floor, by the way. It's totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, uh, realistically tall. Also, locked, locked. Locked, locked. Also, you can talk to this woman right here by clicking this top of her head. She said hi. <laughs> now welcome to the furnace room, the only dangerous part of this entire game. Well, what about you falling off? I also wonder why this is still here. Why this is there. Anyways. Uh, well, that was not out. dangerous. That was just my own stupidity. Anyways, well, as this goes up, we deep. can skip right over here and grab our tools for today. We have pressurized Freon and a hammer. Ball beam. A hammer. Yeah, so you use the freezing stuff to do that to the locks and you smack them. Smack it. Smack, smack it, it up. Smack it. Smack it up. Smack it, smack it, smack Stop it. Stop smacking things. But it's so smackable. So Hyper, what do you think so far of the mechanics that this game uses in the effects? Eh, I have no complaints really. Mm. Alright, and here's our mission. Photograph the five birds. Cause why not? Yeah. Basically. How do you know there's five birds? <laughs> oh, cause fuck you, that's why. <laughs> and now we exit the furnace room. Woo. Alright. You see, look look at that. That's actually... I like how they did this. Like, they've got the sound of rain hitting what sounds like paper. Um, that's held tight or something. Also... <laughs> so this is basically... Um, no offense to Brandon, but he overcomplicated this part. Uh, can I zoom in? No, I can't. Darn. Huh. Anyways. Watch what happens to the bird. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Photographs make them explode, apparently. Seems seems legit. Yes, because everything in this game so far seems legit, doesn't it? Why... One, why are all these rooms locked with two locks? Yeah. And why do they all have a rocket on their door? That is a terrifying question that I don't want to answer. I think it's because the birds are explosive and that's why they have two locks. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I like this game. Really, I missed? That was a miss? It's right there, I can't... Well, it wasn't centered! Oh, man. And boom goes third. Professor anyway. Oak only gives that a score of 100. <laughs> Is that bad? Yes, it's horrible. Anyways, now we do platforming! Didn't expect uh, that. Uh, 
Nope, not at all. From what, from the first level, and how falling is so damn easy. Plus, who puts things like this? Who has precariously placed things that open and close rhythmically? What are those? I don't know, but also I think I can get up there. I think they're vents. Yeah. Ah! <sighs> oh shit, that was close. Okay. Those, those flag poles are tougher than they look. <laughs> yeah, right? You'd expect them to bounce you or something. That would make it more challenging at least. Hey, Mr. Bird, you trying to hide? Also... Don't you want to check out those plans on the table? <laughs> no, they're of no concern to us. Why would we ever want to check out these possibly um, deadly plans right here? Nope, can't even take a picture, see? Huh. Yep. Doesn't matter whatsoever, not at all. You're crazy, Hyper, you're crazy. Are we a spy? Yes, <laughs> we are a spy. But apparently, spies don't care about secret plans right here or there. Why are we destroying birds with pictures? I don't know. Not much of this game has made sense, but it's very interesting, especially about all the mechanics and stuff. But the doors are so broken! I know, right? Like, it do you see, this one doesn't even close! <laughs> Where did it go? Yeah, look, look, these two doors don't, don't do that. No, no, they don't. Especially yeah. not with that handle. They don't do <laughs> Yeah. So anyways, now apparently since there's no other way to exit, we climb through this ventilation duke. And this is how vents open. You don't even touch it. Just whoop. It's automatic vents. I mean, it's, it's the future. It's very convenient, isn't it? I do like the blocky feel of this game because I don't care for graphics that much. So... Hey, girl. Hey, what you reading? What you reading, girl? Actually, yeah, let's see. This is a passionate... Passionate pa moments. Passionless, pa passionless moments. moments. <laughs> hold on. The... Hold on. The... Excuse me, lady. I'm trying to read your book. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's not even words in that. They're lines. Close enough. Don't freeze her book. I'm not. <laughs> Freezer I. It's not working. Freeze your cigarette. How cigarette dare you. Wait, that cigarette is the only thing that isn't blocky. How dare she? This is totally <laughs> something you do. Her face in. I'm trying to make sure it stays flat and emotionless. <laughs> Anyways, now that we have the the birds thing, we can leave, and there's absolutely nothing that could possibly happen to. Oh God! Why? Oh God! Oh my God! There's not. There isn't even an explanation for this. Ah. Oh. Ah. Wait. One. One. One moment. But yeah, there's no explanation for this hyper. Eh. I mean, how do we explain the fact that she just shot us? Uh, rival spy. I mean, there's like no story explanation, and then and then just randomly shoots a window and jumps out. Yep. Well, that seemed like the most logical way to escape. Well, now the most logical thing for us to do is chase with me but missing. You just got shot. Yes, apparently bleeding is not that important. What's more important is chasing. Multiple times. I don't know what you're possibly talking about, and oh dear god, train! I like trains. I do too, Hyper, I do too. Anyway, so now we go down this, which is apparently a hallway inside of a ventilation area with no way in or out. No, totally. Yeah, I know. It's amazing Casually. how these things are. Oh, hey. Hey, baby. Um, what, you, what are you doing here? Oh. <laughs> fancy well. seeing you here. And, well, seeing past him. Sure. For someone who smokes, she's sure fucking fast. <laughs> I know, right? Ah! Oh, sorry, people. Oh. Hey! Go, 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 go,
Anyways, let's continue giving the light spectrum. Continue right. giving chase. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there she is. There she is. <laughs> there she is. So now let's go chase her down. What was that? Oh, hey! Oh, shot. Now we got. Why didn't she just do that in the first place? I don't oh, know. Ah, what well, the hell? Why is that happening? Well, she did actually do that in the first place. <laughs> yes. Technically. And it didn't work, so I guess she just didn't try it. Yeah. Apparently. Why are you? Am I falling still? I can still move at top speed, but I'm falling slowly. So. Well, Slow mo. Yeah, not really much explanation here. Oh, look, a race! We win, or she wins, or we don't even know if we're a woman. <laughs> Truthfully, we don't even know if we're a woman. We could be. Are a woman. we a woman? I don't know. That's a good question. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Alright, wrap up time, Hyper. So, what did you think of the game, Hyper? I don't know. It was fun. I really but. wish I really wish there was a longer one though. Like I checked everywhere. Well, I checked for 5 seconds and couldn't find a like extended version cuz apparently like it's a 5 minute, 13 minute or something story, I think. And it's it doesn't really give much explanation on what happens, but I mean the gameplay, um, the originality and all that are like top notch, but there's no replayability at all. Yeah. Once you play it once, there's no other endings. There's no other possible things, but it's a free game that you download in like 30 seconds, so. Maybe it was a romance story. I, I really don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> good question that we will not be answering. Not in this episode. <laughs> or maybe not at all. Or ever. Possibly. Anyways, thank you all for watching another late night review. I have been Hunsers. And I am still I presiding against you. <laughs> thank you all for watching. This is us, signing off.